What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're just going to dive in and see what is going on with my, my dress here. Honey, you know, I don't even care. <laughs> All right, but anyway, we're going to dive in and see what the heck is going on, y'all. What y'all? I just woke up not too long ago, so please ignore the way I look. I've been sleeping like crazy. Ooh, excuse me. Okay, let's dive into this thing. What's going on with Scorpio? What are the messages Scorpio needs to know at this moment? What are the messages that Scorpio needs to know? You got patience. Okay, Scorpio, so be patient. Things are balancing out at this time here. What's at the bottom? Yeah, six chakra. Whatever it is that you've been saying, things are coming into fruition. They keep saying foresight. So some of y'all already see this coming. You were just waiting on divine timing. You see what I'm saying? You got the the garden and the gate. And you got the envy, of course. You know, there's some people that's bad at you. Mm, no, do not start this yawning. I just woke up. I don't know why I'm yawning. <laughs> um, Scorpio, you are about to have some blessings coming in. Something that you already seen. Again, that foresight energy. Like, you've seen it coming. You knew that in due time and you were going to receive these blessings, right? And I see them coming in. You've been patiently waiting on them. You know what I'm saying? If it's love, you know, love is coming in. If it's money, money's coming in. If it's a, a job opportunity, whatever it is, okay? I see it coming. And um, yeah, I see some people happy. I mean, not happy that you're going to receive it. They're going to be kind of envious here. They, they're going to feel some type of way, although they got what they needed, right? Because if you look at this envy card, this woman, she got like, she got like this little platter with some pearls in it. I can't really see it because I ain't got my glasses. But she got a platter with some pearls in it here. Okay, and, um, but she's still kind of mad. She mad. She got what she wanted, right? She got the platter with the pearls. But she mad because you're over here in this beautiful energy. The abundance is shining on you. The light is shining on you. So now it's your time. When it's your time, it's your time. So for whoever this cross watcher is or whatever this is, you cannot be mad when somebody else starts to receive their blessings. You received yours. You manifested what you wanted. Now it's Scorpio's time to receive theirs, okay? The garden and the gate, okay? About this card is, yes, the protective energy is to stay in the garden. You want to stay in the garden because it's protective, it's familiar, it's comfortable, right? And yes, there's a lot of blessings in this garden, absolutely. There's so many things she can harvest here, but what Spirit is saying, it's time for you to be set free. And some people aren't going to like that you're going to go outside the box. Some people aren't going to like that you're going to go on this journey because they may feel like they're getting left behind. Okay, but that's just part of it. All right, so let's read this patience card real quick just to see what comes out here. 16. Hmm. One, two, four. Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, looky here. Okay, so here we go. This card here is the patience. It says peaceful presence, letting go of desperation. This card shows a beautiful angel holding a clock in the stillness of winter. Her quiet, peaceful energy is telling you that it is time to release the old urgency and to look at things with a much clearer perspective. When this card is upright, it's telling you to relax and let go of the single-minded desperation that's been driving you. Don't try to force your will on only one option. When you think there's only one solution to satisfy your need or to make you happy, you are blocking many other potential solutions from coming your way. Let go of the anxiety and be flexible. Be patient, open, and creative. Choose to be peaceful in the present. The universe has more options than you may be aware of. Quiet your mind, broaden your perspective, and let them come through. That's why somebody is kind of envious then, okay? Because, again, you may uh, leave somebody behind. You may decide to go explore, and this person necessarily doesn't want you to explore. This, this is like giving me like that, you know, that mom where she's like, she's not ready for you to leave home, but you're ready to leave home because you're ready to explore the world. So you're like, mom, I got to go. And then she gets kind of angry, like, well, I'm not your mother anymore. Don't you dare call back home. It's that type of energy, unfortunately. Like, like it's kind of greedy, you know, kind of greedy, kind of holding on too tight here. But see, you see a different vision for yourself here with the third eye chakra. You know that you got to take action here. Some of y'all, this could be a lover. Maybe there was a lover, a connection. You got Karen connection and man holding a heart. Maybe there was a, a lover or a connection that you were in at one point in time. You thought it was everything, right? But you see... Uh, something more clear that there's something else better for you so i see you stepping outside of the comfort zone is what i'm seeing so let's keep going let's get another card here let's do spell casting see what comes out with this okay can i have another one for scorpio what else is going on with scorpio Holy spirit what else is going on with scorpio 
what else is going on with script? Forgiveness and finding, yeah, look at you, finding the light within you, finding the peace. You've went through a transformation here, Scorpio, with this butterfly energy. You've went through a beautiful tra uh, transformation. You're starting to fall in love with yourself again, falling in love with things that you like to do, falling in love with things that really call to your soul is what I see. And then I see this forgiveness card. So what are you forgiving? Is this people or what? Good luck, career. Yeah, some of y'all are literally like taking off on some type of career path, like shooting off, okay, to the stars, <laughs> to infinity and beyond, all right? Fertility, you're giving birth to something. Some of y'all, if you don't want to be pregnant, be careful, okay? It's like right as you start this career, you may find that you're pregnant, <laughs> okay? <laughs> you're launching off. Others of you, you're giving birth to some type of new career, some type of new opportunity here, but this is all like luck being on your side. Good things happening. Good things coming into fruition for you, Scorpio. Give me one more. And the strength card, yeah. It's time for you to have courage and have faith and move towards this here. Dreams. You've been getting downloads about it. Some of y'all been, yeah, friendship. You're meeting new people. Okay, you're having new connections here. Meeting new people when it comes to business, friends, love, relationships. Okay, maybe you were in a connection with a person. It was just time for it to end. It was time for it to come to a close. Or maybe you were, you know, used to staying at home, staying inside the house all the time, and it was time for you to be set free. Yeah, manifestations is here along with psychic abilities. Some of y'all are tapping into like this, uh, your manifestation power, your psychic abilities. You, your, your stuff is starting to heighten here. Maybe you're starting to um, meet new people that are tapped in the way that you're tapped in. And this could be one of those situations like your mom's like, no, you got to go to a Catholic school or you have to go to it. You've got to be Catholic. You can't be spiritual. You know, one of those type of things. Somebody's wanting to keep you in a box and you're like, no, this is my calling. This is where I'm supposed to go. Um, so let's see. What is this about? Clarify the patience card for Scorpio. Clarify the patience card for Scorpio, please, spirit. I've had a patience card for Scorpio. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, something you've been working on. Again, listening to your intuition here. The Three of Swords is here. Five of Cups. There is some like past hurt, some, some type of past pain here. Could have been a third party situation as well. Maybe somebody chose another lover over you. You were looking for love and love is finally coming in when it's meant to be. You're going to start falling in love again. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords. You could have been blocked. You know what I'm saying? You could have been trapped in your head for quite some time due to this disappointment, due to this hurt, this pain. Although this, this deck here, it has two Ten of Swords. This one of them is the Ten of Swords and the other one is everything is fine. And it's like spirit could have came to you and let you know, hey, everything's going to be all right. Just give it time. Just heal. And I see you moving forward with the chariot. I see you moving on from this, moving past this here, moving past this hurt, this pain, this betrayal, whatever this was. Others of you, you could be working and building with somebody as well. Maybe somebody in this friend group betrayed you in some sort of way, you know, kind of out at you, kind of, you know, just put you out there. And like, <sighs> this could have been a person that revealed like all your secrets or something like that. This per, okay, it happened for a reason. Give me another one. I don't know why I'm getting that with that three of pentacles. I see that naked woman up there. It's like she's exposed, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like somebody purposely exposed you. Care about the patience card here. Six of Pentacles. Yeah, I see what whatever you're putting effort, energy into, it's coming back. That's equal reciprocity. What you put out is what you get back. So you've been putting out good energy, you're getting back good energy. And somebody's been putting out bad energy, they're getting back bad energy here. Two of Cups energy. I mean, two of Cups at the bottom of the deck represents you being in alignment with your divine feminine, divine masculine energy. Also, see this as a connection here. You may be meeting like this doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, okay? It could be like a friend or something like that. I see you building and working together with somebody with this Two of Cups energy. Maybe somebody you invested in here. The Tower is here too, so I don't know. Let's see. It's at the top. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Wands. <laughs> the Hermit. Oh, my goodness. I see some of you, like, maybe you were giving to a situation at one point, right? You were really giving to it. You were pouring into it. But you might have been the only person giving to the situation. Now, you're getting back your what you've been giving out, which is now the Ten of Pentacles. You went from the three to the six to the ten. So I feel like some of y'all, some of y'all with that six plus that three, that's nine. So some of y'all, maybe you were supposed to work with some people, right? And maybe these people didn't, didn't put in what you were putting in. Maybe you were doing more of the work. That's nine. 
Nine is like that singles energy, that independence energy. Maybe somebody wasn't uh, working as hard as you were on this project or this situation here. And they thought, oh, yeah, whenever this blows up, you know, Scorpio is just going to give to me. No, 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 no. No, that's not how it works. Ten of Pentacles, my nose is itching, y'all. I'm sorry. Uh, Ten of Pentacles here. You're you're about to receive your blessing. This is you reaping your benefits here. Eight of Wands energy is coming in fast, too. I also feel like this is a spirit telling you you need to distance yourself from these people. If you were the one putting in all the work and they weren't really putting in the work and they think that they finna eat off your plate, that you done sat up there clean, cooked, picked, clean, cooked, and pre prepped, you know, uh, and, and put on the table. These people don't get to eat because you got the hermit energy, which is solitude. So maybe spirit is telling you you need to um, check your circle. You see what I'm saying? Check your circle. Who have you been overly giving to? Because I feel like somebody's been overly giving here. Maybe, maybe that's why it's taking time. Why this patience was being called here. It was taking time for you to realize who really got you and who really don't. Like who was just really there to get what they could from you here. Maybe you had to see something from a higher perspective with this two of uh, cups energy. With the seven of pentacles. Maybe you were growing with somebody that wasn't really putting in effort towards you here. And now that you're about to reach this peak of this ten of pentacles, this success, this gift, this opportunity, this person doesn't deserve to eat off of you. Okay, yeah, the the tower. Maybe this person come to, came towards you with this page of pentacles. That's all they offered was this one little pinnacle. And then you was putting in all the work. You was giving to the situation. Now they think they're finna eat off of you because you done hit your success. You know, maybe that's why it's taking some time for this to get here. They want. It's like. You know how like a person, you get to working on something and you with somebody, right? And say you building, you like, hey, I want you to work with me. I want you to build with me. They start off good. You know, they put in like, yeah, this is great. Let's do it. You know, they start off, but then they start slipping. And then you're the one putting in all the work and you're like, hey, can you help me out? They start making excuses. Eh, now nah, I'm really busy today or I'm really tired today. Da, 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 you know? And then you're like, oh, that's okay. You're understanding. And then over time, you start growing a little more. And then they still don't want to help you because you ain't making the kind of money that they really want to see. And then that moment you start making that kind of money, then all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, I'll get in here and help you. Oh, wait a minute, player. <laughs> what about all them other three years that I was putting in all this work? You wasn't helping me. You was out here partying and living it up. And, you know, I was giving to you, giving you the money. But you wasn't even helping me. It's like something had to be revealed over time for you to see that some something or someone wasn't who they appeared to be, okay? I seen the nine of swords that tried to pop out. Give me another one on this patience card, please, spirit. Eight of swords. Now somebody's stuck in their head because they're burdened here. Yeah, illusion, seven of cups, king of pentacles. Maybe somebody didn't see that you were going to be wealthy, Scorpio. Maybe somebody didn't see your, your abundance here, that you were actually going to be stable, that you were going to be successful, this is long-term stability. King of Pentacles, uh, that's like generational. You know what I'm saying? That Ten of Pentacles is generational. This is like you build an empire, you can pass it on to your children type of thing. You see what I'm saying? Seven of Cups here and the Ten of Wands. Maybe somebody's burning now because they realize they might have went to other options or they chose to do other things. Now they feel burdened. They feel overwhelmed because they trapped in their head here. Eight of, Eight of Swords energy. Why trapped in the head? Queen of Pentacles not. What I tell you. I said that that six plus that nine, somebody been working on somebody themselves. Look, queen of pentacles, nine of pentacles. You've been giving, not only you were in this queen of pentacles energy, you were giving to somebody very loving, nurturing, caring, you know, type of energy. Someone that takes care. You could have been working like two, three jobs. You could have been working one job and doing a side hustle, like something like that. Whatever it was, you were trying to create your independence and here you are here. And now somebody has regrets five of cups for not working with you the high priestess they didn't listen to their intuition somebody didn't see your rise up here some of you could have been in a marriage because this queen of pentacles is like marriage traditional energy somebody was supposed to be, again that king of pentacles was there somebody was supposed to work with you here somebody was supposed to take on this with you but somebody got caught in illusions here like got caught by somebody couldn't see through the through the the fog and somebody done burden their own selves here. And now you're, now you're independent. You're successful. You're very wealthy here. But I feel like at one point you were this queen of pentacles. You were very giving and loving. But now somebody regrets it for not listening to their intuition. Maybe they've been... Let's see. Give me... Tell me about this eight of swords. What is this? A two page of cup. Looks like somebody want to apologize. Clarify the eight of swords. Whoa. The eight of pentacles popped out. Look. Ten of Pentacles, y'all. This is about 
What you been working on, Scorpio? Somebody's trapped at eight and eight. Eight and eight may be significant to you. And if you think about it, eight is also the infinity sign. Okay, so whatever you're putting out comes back to you. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're manifesting, it comes back to you. You know, infinity sign. So, again, somebody's stuck in their head because they didn't work with you. They didn't grow with you. They didn't build with you. They didn't create with you. Because I'm telling y'all, six of wands, ten of pentacles, and the seven of wands is here, too. Look, page of swords. Somebody disappointed. Disappointed. Somebody researching you now. Maybe looking you up here. Seven of Wands, but you kind of got them blocked, okay? <laughs> Even if you got them blocked, baby, they find a way to look you up, okay? But somebody's seeing your success, your recognition, your reward, your victory, your abundance. Somebody is seeing it here. And somebody's stuck in their head because they didn't work with you here. This Eight and Eight of Pentacles. What's at the top of the deck here? Eight of Wands, the Hermit. Yeah, the Two of Wands. So somebody, y'all, somebody may be coming in to communicate king of swords yeah to speak their truth eight of wands and the hermit you over here by your low self minding your little business you know some of y'all again y'all like to block this person you know shut this person out you know you've been in solitude but this two of wands and this king of swords somebody's finally seeing clarity somebody's finally seeing the truth or somebody's wanting to come speak the truth here there, there could have been two options here with this two of wands they could have chose a different option or something like that honey give me more <laughs> Oh, look, look, Empress, the freaking Empress. Let's see what's going on. I see the Three of Swords, third party. Is that a third party situation? King of Cups, Three of Swords. Somebody hurt somebody's feelings here. That's for sure. Give me uh, another one on this patience card, please. Here. Seven of Wands, yeah, look, somebody's about to defend they work. Ace of Pentacles, look at this big ass pentacle. Stability. I see you defending this here. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody to cut something off from the past. Six of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's cutting off something from the past. They it's like you're turning your back on the past. You don't want anything to do with it anymore. Vict victory, man. <laughs> Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. Y'all y'all see me shuffling these cards. Y'all see this keeps coming out. Six of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Somebody was stuck in an illusion. I'm telling you. Ten of Swords. And something. Now somebody mad. Somebody is mad. Now you're defending this here. Now you got your guard up. Now you guarded. You don't want nothing to do. I'm telling you, you're going to cut this past off. If this is a person from the past, you, you cut them off. You turn your back on it. You don't want anything to do with it because you're building something new over here. Ace of Pentacles energy. Somebody's victorious. Somebody is realizing that they, due to this illusion, they're missing out on this. Six of Wands and Ten of Pentacles. Due to this pain, heartbreak, sadness, they're missing out on it. Give me one more on the seven of wands. This is why I shuffle the cards uh, right in front of you. This is why I like to shuffle. I just seen the justice card. I see the page of pentacles. Clarify the seven of wands, please, spirit. Three of swords. Now somebody's heartbroken from your past. Six of cups. Eight of cups. Five of swords. And the lovers. Yes, yeah, somebody walked. Uh, Ace of pentacles came back out. Eight of cups and five of swords. Somebody walked away. Somebody sabotaged the connection. Somebody sabotaged the situation here for a different love option. The lovers in the Ace of Pentacles. Or somebody admitted defeat here. Somebody walked away, admitted defeat. Like, hey, okay, you know, it is what it is. I got to walk away. I got to let it go. I admit defeat. Because this is, you know, defeat as well. So you could have admitted defeat here and just was like, okay, I, I take it on the chin. It is what it is. And the lovers in the Ace of Pentacles. So you chose to go build on your money. You chose to go build on your stability here. What's after that? The hermit, yeah, by yourself. You had to leave off by yourself, and that's okay. You went into hermit mode. You found your higher self, though. This two of cups energy. You found your divine feminine, divine masculine energy, so you're in alignment. Nine of wands, and you're being protected here. You didn't give up. That's the thing. You didn't give up, although that could have hurt whatever this was, this three of swords. You didn't give up, but you're also protected by your angels and your ancestors, just so you know. Like, you, you are in higher consciousness energy, so, you know, now you're being protected. Now your value. Now you realize your value, and um, in the spirit realm, you're very valuable as well. Yeah, the magician. And so now, anything that you manifest now is being protected. Not any old person can just come in and get this. You see what I'm saying? That's why that seven of wands is there. You're being protected. Whatever you had to go through. Somebody broke your heart, most definitely. Three of swords could have been a third party situation. Two of wands, but I see you manifesting a new beginning. 
See, a lot of y'all letting go of the past. Moving on here. King of Swords. But somebody's also seeing it clear that they might have taken the wrong path. The Justice card. That's their karma. Four of Wands. Somebody could be getting a divorce as well. Hiring an attorney. Finally letting it go. Going off to themselves. Give me one more on this Seven of Wands with this Three of Swords. Somebody's most definitely heartbroken. Or was heartbroken. Give me one more on the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Hang One, Sacrifice. Somebody sacrificed their Queen of Pentacles. Somebody sacrificed this very loving, caring energy. Man, King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Swords. But I see somebody else moving on and moving into Karma Waters here. The death card towards an ending, yeah. Towards an ending. Ten of Pentacles. The Tower. Oh, somebody, it's like somebody left, left their divine match for another person. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And now they're, they're trying to move towards Karma Waters, but it's, it's leading towards uh, a death card. The Ten of Pentacles and the Tower is leading towards like an ending. The Seven of Cups, it was an illusion. That's why your your person was here. Your person was over here. You were supposed to be given to. If they would have just patiently waited and patiently continued to give, they would have had this. But it looks like they went somewhere else and tried to move towards karma waters to uh, with this person. And it ended with that death card. It ended something. Uh, and they thought they were getting the Ten of Pentacles. But in fact, they all they ended up with was illusions. Ten of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Seven of Cups. Okay, well, let's see. So somebody sacrificed you, went somewhere else, and ended up getting nothing. What's the forgiveness card about? Yeah, now they stuck. Look, two of swords, seven of Now they stagnant. Clarify the forgiveness card for Scorpio, please, spirit. Got the four of cups. Forgive this person for rejecting you if, if that's what you need to and just move on from it with the six of swords energy. Don't have any anger, animosity, or anything like that towards this person. You know, it is what it is. They missed out on a good opportunity. That's just how they're going to have to look at it. That's something they're going to have to live with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the death card, the knight of pentacles. I do see them attempting to come back, but I don't see you even uh, wanting to talk to them, to be honest. You got the queen of swords. Your back is turned towards this knight of pentacles. So I feel like this person, um, oh, they just the song, it's too late to apologize. Okay, whatever that song. I don't I don't know the, the uh, people, but that song, uh, it's got Timberland in it, I believe. And what's up? I don't know. I don't know. One republic. I don't think that's it. One republic. I don't think that's. It. I don't know. Okay, but that's the song. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Um. Somebody. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to come back in, but I don't see you even. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Whoever it is. Very um. Very flighty energy. Not somebody that's sustainable. I mean, come on. A knight can never compare to a queen. You see what I'm saying? I saw you got your back turned. This person goes after lustful things instead of like long-term commitment. You want traditional things. This person wants fun things. You know what I'm saying? So clarify the forgiveness part. Not that you can't be fun, but you're more stable. You have the will of fortune. Things are changing. The Knight of Wands energy keeps coming up. So see, so you guard it towards this person. She has her back turned towards this apology page of cups. To a sword. Somebody's stagnant. Somebody's stuck. Queen of Cups. The Ten of Wands, they're burdened with this, this love offer over here. Or they're burdened because you won't offer them your cup or you're not paying attention to their cup. Honey, <laughs> the Star card and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you, it's like this, you're you're the wish fulfillment and you're holding back from them. Like you no longer want to give your cup to this person. I'm telling you, it's like you're this Two of Swords and this Queen of Cups. This person could be trying to offer you love or offer you a cup. And you're just like, mm, I don't see nothing. Nope. <laughs> like I don't see nothing I don't care this I don't know give me one more on this clarify the will of fortune yeah I see I see you healed from this flighty person or this this player type of energy I see you healed this person caused you a lot of pain and you had to heal from this clarify the will of fortune for Scorpio please spirit yeah three of wands you've turned your back you're looking towards the future your ships are starting to come in and this is stressing somebody out here Okay, King of Wands, the Tower, King of Wands, and the Nine of Swords energy. This is stressing somebody out because her ships are coming in. Things that are meant for you are starting to come in. That's why the Wheel of Fortune is turning. Yeah, Ace of Swords and the Seven of Cups. Somebody is finally cutting through the illusions here. Knight of Cups energy. 
of this time waster, charmer type of energy here. Somebody, five of swords, somebody love bomb type of energy, okay? The sabotager, knight of wands. Yeah, it's like, oh my goodness, honey. This is just a whole bundle of a mess. Knight of cups, five of swords, and knight of wands. This is love bombing, sab sabotager, player type of energy here. Somebody is starting to see that a person is nothing but a knight. There ain't nothing you can offer me. This is all you got. You come in with this love bombing energy. Okay, you come in, you get what you need. You use me here with this five of swords energy. Cause all this conflict, all this confusion, all this, all this like bullying type of energy. And then you turn around and you turn into the knight of wands and then you fly to get out of here. That's what I see. Two of pentacles. Yeah, because this person ain't balanced. This person off balance, the world card here. And some people may see it in public. Ace of Cups. The Empress. Some like I'm telling you, the world sees you as a loving, caring person, the, the Empress type of energy. This person could have been off balance ever since shit ended with you. Honey. Okay. Let's keep going. Give me more on what's going on with Scorpio. Can I have another one on this forgiveness, please, Spirit? I feel like you've already forgiven this person. King of Swords energy. Yeah, somebody's becoming clear. The Sun card is this, it's a past person. Six of Cups, the fool energy. Somebody could have been foolish or taking a leap of faith somewhere and somebody's becoming clear. The Sun card, things are being illuminated here. Somebody may find out somebody's pregnant. Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups, the Justice. Damn. The Three of Cups. Somebody... Now, went off and built with another person, Queen of Wands, Ten of Cups energy. You know, that was where their wish fulfillment was, the Justice card and the Three of Cups. But it ended up putting them right into a third-party situation, and somebody ended up single. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Wands. Somebody ended up single anyway, the Emperor. Somebody could have had another person, the, the Hierophant, or was married. The high priestess, somebody secret, somebody secretly was married to another person. They were coming off like they were single, or they're acting like they're single, but they're in a relation. Uh, honey, I don't know. <laughs> oh, woo. Let's clarify this king of swords. Some kind of truth is about to be revealed. Something's about to be illuminated here. Clarify the king of swords, please, spirit. Clarify the king of swords. Clarify the king of swords, please, spirit. Yeah, the hermit. Somebody's about to be in solitude. Somebody's stressed. Somebody feels like they made a bad decision or a judgment about something here to a pentacle. Somebody was balancing somebody or juggling somebody here. Somebody wants to apologize because it caused something to end here. The magician and the eight of cups. Somebody manifested an ending so that somebody will walk away from another person. Honey, what the hell is going on here? This is too much. <laughs> okay, this is, this is too much. Too much. Look at this. Two of pentacles. Somebody was juggling. Page of Cups, somebody want to say, I'm sorry. There caused an ending here with the world card. I feel like it was in public and, and a lot of people saying it, okay? The magician here, somebody manifested somebody else to walk away. The Queen of Pentacles could have been you. So it's like somebody manifested you to walk away. Like somebody manipulated to a sword so that you would feel stuck. You would feel confused here. Nine of Cups energy. So that you would be single. Ten of Pentacles. Oh, but look. Looky, looky, looky. They didn't want you to be single and abundant, but you are you ended up single. They wanted you to be stuck, but you ended up being single and abundant anyway. Or somebody didn't want you to come towards. Give me one more, because this is stupid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me one more on this King of Swords, please, with the Hermit. Nine of one. Yeah, somebody was trying to block somebody from coming towards you here. Nine of Cups energy. Somebody didn't want, yeah, the Justice. The Ten of Cups, like they wanted a family dynamic to end, like they didn't want them to come towards you here, the star, the emperor, because they knew that you were wish fulfillment or that this would have been a wish fulfillment opportunity here. Somebody was married. Somebody was in like a higher level commitment here. The star, the emperor, wish fulfillment type of energy, optimism, positivity, the emperor, somebody, somebody wanted to control somebody's wish. The Hierophant and the High Priestess here. Somebody find out that somebody's secretly married, Knight of Wands, but somebody's a freaking player, King of Pentacles. Somebody didn't want somebody to come rushing towards you because you keep showing up as the Queen of Pentacles. So somebody didn't want them to come rush towards you here. They wanted it to end. Ten of Swords, the Tower. 
the freaking death. Yeah, they wanted it to end. And I feel like they got their wish. Whatever this was. Somebody wanted somebody to be guarded towards you here with this Knight of Wands energy. Oh, goodness. The Magician, Knight of Cups. Somebody could have been like, oh, I don't like the Magician with the Knight of Cups. Because that's like manipulative, womanizer, charming. Like somebody coming off very loving and caring, but they manipulative as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really like that energy. They know how to like... That's the type of person that does everything at the beginning of the relationship to get you trapped. And then the moment they get you trapped and get you wrapped in on the on the, on the the uh, fishing hook, then they stop doing everything. They just do everything up front to be like, oh, yes, I'm the best option. I'm this beautiful option. I'm this handsome option. You should definitely come this way. I'm going to show you everything that you can have. And, like, they do that. And then when you get with them and they start leaving the other people alone, then they, they take off the mask and you find out they're nothing like that. That's the type of energy I'm getting. Pray for the forgiveness card. Give me another one, please, Spirit. Pray for the forgiveness card, please, Spirit. Now, what is going on here? Yes, yeah, Seven of Cups and Nine of Cups. Somebody was under the illusion here. Or somebody placed illusions to see so that you wouldn't be happy or so this person wouldn't get their wish fulfillment here. But look, Nine of Cups and Nine of Pentacles. Somebody placed illusions over you. They didn't want you to be seen as this independent person. The chariot, the two of cups, because somebody did not want them to come. I'm telling you, somebody did not want somebody to come towards you. The chariot, the two of cups, and the five of pentacles. Somebody wanted you to be left out in the cold in this divine connection here, which could be a twin flame, the temperance energy, the six of cups, the ten of pentacles. Somebody did not want this to heal, this past connection to heal here. The temperance, the six of cups, and the ten of pentacles, because they knew it would bring abundance. It would bring stability here. The devil card. Somebody tricked somebody. Page of swords. Yeah. The devil and the page of swords. Now somebody's disappointed because they realize they've been tricked. They just said the devil in the red dress. Why did they say it like that? The devil in the red dress. The the devil in the red suit, honey. Somebody been somebody was bamboozled. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Clarify. They should have held back from this here, but somebody was very strong. Like you laid it out. Clarify the seven of cups with the nine of cups, please. Somebody did not want you to be, yeah, some, the lovers and the emperor. Somebody did not want the emperor. Look, six of wands, page of pentacles. Somebody did not want this emperor to come towards you and offer their cup because they knew, they knew if they chose you, they would have it all with you. The five of cups, the death card, the tower, the page of cups. Yes, five of cups, regret, remorse. Looking in the past here, the death card is ending. I feel like you're getting over this. You're getting past this. The tower and the page of cups. But what's coming is somebody's going to apologize. The high priestess, somebody secretly wants to come towards you and offer the cup. Knight of Wands, somebody wants to come rushing in. Again, it's the player energy, king of pentacles. But they want this king of pentacles. They want this stability here. They want to be long term with you here. But there's ten of swords. There's a, a, a terrible ending. Knight of swords energy. Somebody just moved too fast on something here. Ace of Cups, the Knight of Pentacles. And now it's like they're wanting to, a new beginning. They're moving towards a new beginning here. The World card, the Ten of Swords. There's a there's definitely an ending of some sort, y'all. I don't know if this is with you or with somebody else. But somebody regrets not choosing you or not choosing to come towards you here. Give me another one. Why this Lover's card? Somebody did not want you to be chosen. Somebody wants forgiveness for that. Clarify the seven of cups, nine of cups, the lovers. Why is this energy here? The magician. Yeah, somebody did not want to want them to manifest with you here. Somebody manipulated this love option. Knight of Wands, the uh, Queen of. It's like somebody manipulated somebody to be. Is that a pigeon? What is that? I don't think that's a pigeon. That's a fat bird. That thing is chunky. It's walking outside on my little driveway. Ooh, but I, do we have pigeons here? I don't think we have pigeons here. Honey, I don't know. We're down here in the South. I don't know what kind of bird that is, <laughs> okay? But somebody wanted somebody to, like, turn into a player towards you or not offer you love. Like, somebody wanted wanted this person to run away from you. Like, I don't get it. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Somebody wanted, wanted you to be cut off and be left out in the cold. The strength card. Somebody wanted wanted them to hold back from you, not conversate with you here. They didn't want, want them to heal this. They wanted them to juggle you here. <sighs> you know what? <laughs> Let me pull a couple of kippers on this. Okay. What's going on? Y'all know I'm going to do a what's the tea reading, but that's what I'm saying. The spirit is basically saying just forgive the situation and move forward. Okay. I see you doing that anyways with the three of wands. 
opportunities are coming in for you anyway. So whatever happened, happened. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it just wasn't meant to be. You know, everything with the Wheel of Fortune being there, it was faded. It was meant to happen that way. Maybe this person had a choice. They chose the wrong choice, but they got to live with that now, you know? Anything else that Scorpio needs to know at this moment? Yeah, occupation. I see you working. I see some of y'all maybe getting a new job because you got the change card here. Or working towards a new car as well with this occupation card. What else? The main female. Some of y'all, this this was a, a female. Okay, it could be male or female. It's just the, the feminine energy, y'all. I seen somebody put on one thing. They said, well, you said a wealthy man. Okay, it, the wealthy man is just the wealthy man energy, y'all. It could be a male or a female. It's just the energy of the cards, okay? So please place it as you place it. If you, you know you don't date a man, you don't date men, okay? If you know you don't date women, you don't date women. Just take the energy. Women can show up in masculine energy all the time. Men can show up in feminine energy all the time, okay? But somebody's concerned, yeah, because they done got with the thief here. It's like somebody wanted to give us somebody, use them for money. What the hell? Or use them for what they have to offer, what they can work towards here. The mature man. Somebody's debt, yeah, courtship. Main female, mature man. That ain't even a divine couple. Like, that's two different couples here. Somebody was expecting some type of money from this connection here. But something has changed about it here. That's not what's coming. Expectations. Somebody's sitting around thinking like, I thought this was going to come family room. I thought I was going to have this family dynamic. I thought I was going to have this child with this person courthouse, or I thought I was going to get this child supporter. Uh, honey, what the world? Okay. Give me another one. What's coming in for Scorpio? The journey. Yes. Yeah, somebody, somebody is moving on. Somebody has grown. They've matured. They've grown from the situation. I see them traveling away. Privileged lady, but I also see a mature man trying a mature man or woman. Okay. Wanting to come towards this privileged lady here, but they're, they're with this main female or main male up here. So it's like they're wanting to come towards this privileged lady. You kept appearing as the privileged lady. The pathway, yeah. I see somebody else choosing to go elsewhere here. Somebody chose, that's the, yeah, somebody chose to go with another person. Now they're in despair. Okay, they, they then took the wrong route. False person. They, they realized that this person is false person. They're not who they appeared to be. Again, you remember the Knight of Cups with the, the magician. Somebody played it off like, I am this beautiful person. I'm this great person to date. You would really want to get here. They get you sucked in and then bam, you're trapped. Okay. And then you realize this person ain't nobody who they appear to be. They appear to be the sweet, loving, kind person. And they're none of that. They evil as fuck. Okay. It's, it's, it's one of those energy. Or they came off like they really had it like that. Like they had money like that. And then they get with them and then they realize they spending all their money to keep up with them and now you're broke okay now you out of work but somebody's coming towards this privileged lady here okay so we're gonna end it off with a fortune reading and we're just gonna let it let it fly that way <laughs> y'all i hope this i hope this does bring you some clarity though there's somebody just somebody may come towards you and ask for forgiveness because that apology card kept coming out with that page of cups too mm. Mm. yeah but i don't like this because you got the snake your intuition and healing powers will guide you to a better path, but be careful. I feel like you're being guided to a better path. Again, this person, whoever this person was, they had an opportunity to come towards you, but they chose somebody else because they fell for somebody else's manipulation. And that's fine. That was their path. But you cannot feel bad for a path that somebody, or a choice that somebody else made, okay? So don't you feel bad. Now, you're being led to go towards this opportunity. You kept working. You kept your head down. You kept focusing, all right? Even though you tried to give to this person, this person just wasn't really willing to accept. Well, they accepted, but they wasn't willing to give back to you. Okay, so now you get your celebrations coming in, Scorpio. You got celebrations. You are ready to bring new and exciting things into your life. So this is a brand new opportunity here. This happened in the past. Let it go. Move forward because you got blessings coming in. Again, three of wands energy. Your ships are coming in for whatever you've been working for. Do you want somebody? Do you want to take somebody back that chose to make you an option? You know what I'm saying? I mean, we all have free will, but do you want to take somebody back that chose to be an option? Now they come in and saying, I'm sorry, I was manipulated by this person. I got fooled. I got tricked. Okay, well, I got fooled and tricked by you too. I thought you really cared about me, but it was obviously proven that you didn't. That type of, you know, but I mean, we all have free will. So just please pick and, pick and choose as you want. Playing a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. So just know your life is going to be fulfilled, Scorpio. You're going to receive everything you're meant to receive anyway. Regardless if it's not with this person or with this person, okay? You're still about to receive your blessings. So just forgive this, let it go, move on. If they come back and apologize, you can, hey, okay, I accept your apology or 
fuck you. I don't accept it. Whatever. Okay. Just keep moving forward. Whatever you do, don't go backwards. Okay. Uh, but this is what I have for you. I hope it gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.